What up, Pink Lady Seabirds? Just happen to be watchers of my shit. My name is Jimmy Pink. I don't know how the fuck I feel right now. I believe this. I fucking forgot my birthday. So, we've come to the end of this little experimental project. Um, obviously, this is the entirely next day. Um, so, day drinking me is not here. So because this was going to be the finale, and I was eventually going to make this episode 12 and 13 of season 2, as well as my thoughts on the overall season, um, I thought I should be a little bit more comprehensive <laughs> on this one. So I've taken some notes. Um, let's start with episode 12. Um, excuse me, as I scroll to my notes, there was a lot. Um... So it's Justin's turn to testify, which he does. Um, again, there's some stories about Justin, again, that I can't honestly believe. If somebody believing a suicide note and say, hey, this is how I drove myself to this. That the whole part about Justin spending the night because his stepfather beat him up and all of this and Bryce wouldn't let it I mean, He wouldn't know Bryce wouldn't let it go. But that that portion... Didn't make it into the story, just like her talking to him in secret didn't make the story. Just like, um, what's his name? I was, Asian dude, bro, Reggie Zach. Y'all was, you lost your virginity to him and was fucking all summer. Just like you never mentioned that you and Bryce were friends and Bryce was trying to holler at you and you told him we just friends. Your father's, you caught your father cheating on your mother. None of this shit was in the fucking tapes i just i cram to understand that but anyway um i'm trying to figure out how the lawyers knew that justin was on heroin because wasn't that a secret didn't they like detox him in secret like how did anybody know that um tyler i know we're supposed to feel bad for tyler i do I blame his parents. And, okay, so Tyler then thinks it's a good idea to go ahead and post pictures of him vandalizing him and punk rock anarchy kid to fake Facebook and let everybody know he's who damaged the field. Punk kid gets suspended. But Tyler has to go to a boot camp. And they're saying, how is that fair? But parents, if y'all thought that was a good idea, y'all really thought, after all these tapes came out, after all this shit, after what your son went through, that it was a good idea to not switch him fucking schools. That's number one. Like, he should have never even went back to Liberty. Ever. Matter of fact, when they did that shit about the boot camp, you should have said, you know what? We're just going to um, unenroll him from your school because obviously y'all not taking care of my son. And like I said, um, was this the episode? Yeah. Was it? Or that was last episode. I, I'm getting confused. But remember, um, the guidance counselor is fired. The guidance counselor is fired, gave the principal a foul. These are the kids that need extreme care. Tyler is right on the fucking top. He just got ignored. Um, let's, let, let's, Monty. Oh my God. Monty, Monty, Monty. So, when they find out Tyler is coming back to school, he immediately goes to Bryce like, Monty is the one who was doing the shit all along. He the one threatening the kids. He the one sending people shit. Don't tell this and this and this and this. And Bryce is like, I never told you to do none of that. Wow. 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 Bryce like, you fucked this up. I didn't tell you to do none of that shit. What are you doing? 
I don't understand. I mean, I do, but I don't understand why all these people are like so super just Bryce is the man. And I understand trying to fit in, but like y'all motherfucking jocks. I mean, everybody on the show, but y'all jocks really have some really fucking disturbing behavior. Y'all motherfucking season should have got canceled. Matter of fact, y'all should all be fucking suspended like Tyler said. They just beat up half a dozen kids in the hallway. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing happens to them. But this is what Monty beating Tyler up and fucking raping him with a broomstick. First of all, my pink ladies and T-birds, the few of y'all that's gonna watch this already know, I do not do men getting raped. So you know I was already damn near like, well, this, well, this experiment is fucking over because I'm not watching this shit no more. What I don't understand is how nobody is fucking learning anything. Like, Tyler is bleeding from the ass. He might possibly have something broken his head. Like, I don't mean like his brain. I mean like, you know, it might be skull break, skull shatterings. Like, that could affect your vision and everything else. And your parents are just like, how was your first day of school? And you're just like, great, mom. But you got a fucking winter hat indoors. We ain't seen this boy with a hat on in two goddamn seasons. Now, all of a sudden, he got this black winter hat on. And the mother don't see nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I blame Tyler's parents. Because you just, he's so innocent. He's so good. He was all right, so he started hanging out with punk rock anarchy kid. Like, no, something is wrong. And the way he had been getting bullied, and once you had found all of that out, once y'all had found all of that out, y'all should have just pulled him off the goddamn school. Speaking of people getting pulled out of school, so Bryce gets to have a whole other senior year at a fucking private school. And he only got three months, y'all. He only got three fucking months for fucking raping somebody. And not even three months, because he ain't locked up three months probation. And the argument is, these are young people. We want them to start their life and move past. Oh, his baseball season was canceled. Boo the fuck who? All of his scholarships was retracted. He don't need fucking scholarships. His parents is fucking rich. There was no punishment. And then three months probation? Probation, no jail time, no nothing. There was no punishment. But Justin, who was just the accessory too for not reporting it and lying to Jess and telling his story, couldn't get out of lockup because they couldn't find his mother, which by the way, Justin made sure they couldn't find his mother because he stole that money. He leaves. He can't get out. They finally get him out and he got probation for six months. Okay. Heroin addict and all, I guess. Which, and he's still on heroin. I'm like, oh, Justin, for real. Because he's going to get adopted in the Clay's family. He's going to live there so he can finish school and everything. But. He's still on the boy, boy. Like, get off the boy. Why is you still on the boy? I don't understand. But I kind of do. Because you, like, you did the right thing. But you did kind of lose everything. But. Things are getting better for you, so here's here's the thing. I know I'm saying 11, 12 in an overview of the series, so I'm kind of jumping around a little bit. Because what was the overall theme of this goddamn season? Now, we understand the first season was based on the book. It was Hannah. It was her suicide. These are the 13 people that have something to fucking do with it. I'm leaving them each tape. I want y'all all to listen to them. Very focused. This season, I'm like, okay, was the theme rape? Was the theme violence? Was the theme that nothing gets better? Like, it was a little bit all over the place. I, I gotta be honest. Like I said, y'all want to bring up race issues in one of the episodes back. But that's never addressed again. And two of your characters of color, namely Marcus and I believe Shelly, were barely even in the series. So you mean to tell me they had a memorial?
or Hannah. Marcus might not have been there because they ain't really feeling Marcus. Marcus might not have been there. But Shelly would have been there. Um, let's add all these extra new characters and the characters we already know are core 13. Let's get rid of them. Because the guidance counselor is gone. I don't never know. I still don't know where the fuck Marcus is at. Did Marcus just quit school? Maybe he transferred schools. I don't fucking know. He disappeared. Y'all had a whole main fucking episode about him getting blackmailed and a little backstory into how his life is, like how, why he was so driven to go to Harvard and all this shit. We don't hear nothing else about Marcus. Like, Marcus gone. Bye, Marcus. Marcus. Bye, Marcus. Shelly, they Josie they Josie the fuck out of her. If y'all watch Riverdale, they Josie the fuck out of her. Um, Constance, the Asian lesbian character, like literally was just popping up in episodes for fifteen minutes to be the stinger. Like when the jocks and the punk kids and everybody started fighting, the jocks and just said fuck it. Her and gay artsy kid just peek around the corner. She's just like, boys, pulls the fire alarm and leaves. And that's the only time we see her in that episode. I'm like, y'all got to do better. I know about sophomore slumps, honey. We just did River. We just reviewed the whole second season of Riverdale, honey. And believe me, the sophomore slump is fucking real. But perfect example. At the end of our last episode, again, it's a month later, we see Bryce saying his speech. Jessica gets up and says, I want to make a statement. And as she's telling her statement, we then see, see Hannah making her statement. Then we go into, to like, then we hear stories about, like, all the female characters. There, there, we, there we go again, Shelly in the episode for a hot second about how women are sexually abused or mistreated. And I'm just like, okay, but... If this was going to be your through, if this was going to be what your season was about. What I mean by that is this. Season one, cassettes and suicide. Okay? Cassettes and suicide. This season where I thought it was going to be Polaroids and rape. They didn't quite get there. It was there, but it wasn't the focal point. Like I said, in the first eight episodes, we only seen three Polaroids. And then finally on episode nine, Zach is like, here go the whole box. We get a little bit of storyline with that. We have Chloe finding out that Bryce had did that to her. And she's still fucking with Bryce. Like, girl, get your mind right. Oh, and she fucking pregnant. And she pregnant. She goes to Justin and says, I don't know what to do. I'm pregnant. So my question is this. When she... All of this is what I want to know. Before she got on the stand, before Jessica showed her the pictures that she did it, did she know she was pregnant then? And that's why, because, you know, she was looking at Bryce and she was like, holy shit, I can't lose him. Or did she get pregnant? I mean... Anyway, Chloe pregnant. Um, did we need Chloe, Chloe to be in the fucking story? Not really, but. Sorry, Chloe, Chloe, I don't fucking feel bad for you. You seen him be aggressive with you. You already knew the rumors that he might be raping girls. You being extra nice to Jessica. Probably because you feel a little bit guilty knowing good and hell well in the back of your mind you know Bryce did that shit and Jessica was telling the truth. You get proof that the motherfucker did it to you. You decide to go on the stand and don't. Then when you're talking to Bryce, he flat out dog you and be like, who gonna believe you now? You're not even trustworthy. Who gonna believe you now? And I'm not saying that love is not complicated at all. Especially teenage love. Hey, I was in love with somebody that was abusive to me and I didn't see the fucking signs until it was too fucking late. Even though he was a douchebag and he did fucked up shit to me. But, um. T 
for you to first find out you're pregnant now, now mind you, this was all going on, and this trial is a month later. Like, obviously, you still would have, and we know how Bryce is, so y'all still fucking. That's your motherfucking fault. Unless they're going to bring it around to the time where he basically did rape her, where she was saying no and was trying to push him away, and then finally, just when he snatched her pants and panties off, was just like fucking gave in and kept watching the movie. Because obviously, they didn't use a condom that time. Um, unless that's going to come back into play, and that's going to make her realize that he is a rapist. But we'll see. Um, next season's a long way off. Um, Another thing they want to bring in. Oh, y'all want to bring in the heroin ep epidemic with Justin? Stop it. Stop it. See what I'm saying? Y'all tried to cover too much. Whereas the first season, it was suicide and cassettes. It was a cassette every episode. You've seen how these kids were dealing with the aftermath of the suicide. How they thought that they were responsible. How they were responsible. Um, and just the mental state of teenagers and how it gets to that part finally ending with Alex trying to end his life. Full circle. Another suicide. You even brought into this episode with Sky. And not this, like this season with Sky. So. Which that storyline was fucking unnecessary. And, and, and honest to God. And this is coming from somebody that is, is a victim of sexual assault. That, let's tell all the stories of these women at the beginning of the thing, even like the lawyer, the mother, like all of this shit, that shit was unnecessary as fuck as far as to the plot. Had that come more organically that you did in the first season where there was a focal point and the focal point was Polaroids and rape and those stories had came out during each episode. Like when Jess was talking to the mother and apologizing to her and saying, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I couldn't say what I had to say, say to Hannah. Wouldn't that have been a great time to hold just because Hannah was like, I understand how you feel. Um, I never told Hannah this, I never told anybody this, but when I was 12 years old, this 18-year-old guy picked me up, took me behind a bush and raped me. So that there would have been a connection between those two characters, a stronger bond between those two characters. There was no focus. There was no focus. There should have been a Polaroid every goddamn episode. The full box should have been in the finale. Speaking of the full box, Track, track Girl stole the box. Track Girl stole the box. Track Girl stole the box. A photo of Polaroid. Yeah, you can do a call back. Where her picture was in there. She was saying. But there's no pictures of me actually being assaulted. This is more so showing that I was into it. That it was okay. Um, y'all started off strong. Because y'all did have a girl. Talking to Jessica. That had went through the same thing. Like. But when you started getting into it. Now y'all want to try to tackle. The opioid epidemic. Because when they break down. Why Justin was on drugs. In the first place, he was like, I, you know, they was already kicking in and popping pills and shit. And he like, heroin is cheaper. We've been hearing that forever. That's the scary, because you take pills, eventually you're going to turn to heroin because it's cheaper. Like, I've been hearing that. Okay. Um, that's not necessarily true, even though it is still an opioid and everything. But like, y'all trying to tackle the opioid epidemic, race, the Me Too movement. Um, fucking rich white privilege y'all trying to cover that too with Bryce oh he got off cause he got money and everybody believes in his fine y'all tried to cover rich white privilege too like y'all was doing too much y'all was doing too much that's why I say I don't know how I feel about it cause I'm like it was entertaining and it kept my attention cause y'all know if it didn't I would've been all here on a heartbeat like yeah this is episode 7 this is the last one I'm doing fuck this show y'all know I'm good for it but it kept my attention. I wanted to know what was going to happen. But I really thought that this was where y'all was going with it. And y'all tried it. Y'all did. Y'all like, like I said, I keep saying this because these are key words. The first season were cassette tapes and suicide. This season was supposed to be Polaroids and rape. And they should have focused more on rape a little bit more than what they did. 
and made the season more cohesive instead of it being sprinkled in here and there. Yes, we have to find out what's going on with the other characters. We absolutely do. But you, 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 you needed a focus. You was trying to focus on too many other things when the main thing should have been great. Um, let's get into this final with Tyler again. And Clay goes out there and tries to stop him from shooting people. Because Clay is not a coward. We don't want Tyler to die. Y'all get Tyler out of there. None of y'all know what the fuck happened to Tyler though. Because he hasn't told nobody yet. So he just comes to the school shooting up and nobody knows why he about to do it. And it was really fucking anticlimactic because... What's the cliffhanger? What makes me want to come back and have a, a season three and watch this shit again? What makes me want to do that? We made it very clear that the Hannah storyline is no more. We didn't have a funeral for her. We didn't have a wake for her that her mother didn't throw. Apparently Clay did at the coffee shop. Um, The mother is moving to New York. The, the father that moved on with the bitch she was cheating with and his daughter. So he going to start his life all over again. Tony finds a boyfriend and ain't running away from him. Constance is out and proud. We still don't know where the fuck Marcus and Shelly is at, so I guess they okay. I... But Justin, you know, Justin is getting adopted by Clay. Seems like everybody is moving on. So we're definitely done with the Hannah storyline. But what's going to be the story next season? Like, we kind of knew it was going to have to be the aftermath of Hannah and that Hannah got raped and y'all did the promos with the picture. Hannah's not the only one. We knew this season was going to be about rape. What the fuck's that season going to be about? Because Tyler got away. Technically, Tyler and Tony drove off. Maybe they don't get away. Clay got the gun in his hand. <sighs> like, okay. Then you have this fucked up thing where Jessica is dancing with Alex and she's feeling Alex and Justin is there and he moping because he still loves Jessica but he sees her she sees him walk out which the way he was sweating and shit I thought he was going to go shoot up because he was going into withdrawal because that's what heroin addicts do they start sweating they start feeling sick because they're going through withdrawal and I thought that's what he was going to go sit in the dark to do to go shoot it up between his toes again but Jessica follows him out while dancing with Alex and they talk and everything. The next thing you know, two tickets to Bone Town. What the fuck? You was just out there making out with Alex, and don't get me wrong. I know you love Justin too. But damn, sis. So we know that's got to come out. That's got to be a love triangle next season, which I don't know. And then what product is y'all gonna use next season as a throwback? Is it gonna be VHS tapes? Is it going to be walkie-talkies, um, floppy disks? Uh, because, like, that's the thing that you are going for and that you set. And you failed at it. I don't want you to fail at it because I think that's a great premise. Like I said, had they stuck to it the way they should have stuck to it and made everything really a clear through line. Had you did with the cassettes and suicide, the way that you attempted to do with the Polaroids and rape, and the Polaroids, for real, was they even that important to the story? They moved the plot along, but they weren't the focal point like the cassettes were. I think that's a problem. I think that should have been done better, too. And then, you know, they called the cops. They locked everybody up in the school. Clay stops Tyler. Because Tyler text messaged the girlfriend. And then she went and told everybody else, and they're like, okay, let's do this. I don't know. I don't think I'm very happy with the finale. Like, Monty has to get some justice. And then, while we're talking about it, and you want the whole through line to be raped, Tyler just got raped. Sexual assault. That is sexual assault. That is sodomy. He got raped. So, even though that uncomfortable for me to watch, and I really hate that that happened, and I really 
hate that they put that in there. It was valid had you continued the through line all the way through like you were supposed to. Because everything was about these women got raped, these women got raped, job culture, these women got raped, these women got raped, now this man got raped, now what? Like, it's there. It's there. I didn't expect it to be as good as season one because season one is based on a book. Season two was not. So you had to pull some shit out of thin air. And, oh, y'all did. Um, But I just hope that if we're getting a season three of this, because I have not read any reviews or anything since I've been binge watching. I haven't even watched anything else. I haven't watched a YouTube review of any. I have not watched anything since I started this process, but 13 reasons why. I have not watched that shit else. So um, I don't know what the reviews and things are in, but it's scattered. It was scattered. It was messy. The cinematography was great. I would still love to know the significance of the pops of color. Um, certain scenes was more green. Like when Justin went to testify, it was a lot of green. Um, I haven't figured that quite out yet. But, um, I don't know. I hope season three do better. Do better. Um, because there were some plot points that did not need to be in there. The sky, the sky thing did not need to be in there at all. It really didn't. Um, we know he drove off with her and that they were friends now. They did not have to turn into a relationship. They did not have to turn into lovers. It did not have to be a thing about because you're not over Hannah yet. You could have did that without the Sky storyline. Again, we got the episode where everything fucking happened. And then we stand still for 20 minutes so that... Uh, I was going to say Tyler. What's his name? You know, the main character and go talk to Sky. Like, it was unnecessary. We got characters that only got one episode and they didn't have nothing else to do with the story. We got too many motherfucking new people in here. Tyler and fucking punk anarchy dude and his sister. That storyline. That storyline really that, Oh, he got ski, ski, ski. He skied it early. They made one reference back to that. It was a reason for him and dude to fall out and that was it. Like, it was unnecessary. It was an unnecessary, an unnecessary storyline. A very unnecessary storyline. Um, and then there were storylines I needed to know more about. We're getting this little bit of backstory about how Monty's father beats him. So all he has is the baseball team. And that's why he has this loyalty to Bryce. Because that's all he has to hold on to. And he's angry because it was taken away from him. But. Like somebody entitled would think. It's because. Tyler and his friend burnt up our field. No, it's not. It's because your friend was raping people. You knew about it and you was motherfucking antagonizing people about it. And obviously, if they did it on the baseball field, they know it has something to do with the baseball team. That's why Scotty ass was talking to Clay like, man, listen, I just play baseball. This shit out of motherfucking hand. That's why my favorite character this season was Zach. Because even though Zach was saying he was a coward, he finally broke free of that. He quit the baseball team and everything. He like, I'm done. I'm done. Um, again, my least favorite character was Chloe because I know we're supposed to kind of feel bad for her. But I don't fucking feel bad for you, bitch. I don't. Like I said, it's one thing. For like you to know he did this to other people or have a speculation in your mind or convince yourself that he didn't. But when you seen them pictures that you passed out, even if you would have lied on the stand and said, no, I knew about it. And you got your boyfriend off. At what point in time did you decide, yeah, I'm going to stay with him after this shit? And now you're pregnant. Good for you, bitch. Guess you'll be at the clinic next season. I don't know what else to say. Because when you tell Bryce that you're having a baby, best believe he's not standing for that shit and neither is his fucking father. Believe that. That'll be next season. But I don't know. Where's it go from here? Where's it go from here? So that's all I got to say. Leave your comments below. Let me know what y'all thought about 13 Reasons Why. Let me know if y'all like the format of me doing the binge watch. Um, 
reviews because I'm trying to figure out some content um, to do outside of Drag Race. Um, patrons, drop me a line down here. Name some stuff that y'all want me to review. You know, um, thank you to the people who donated to my PayPal and also gave me birthday gifts. I appreciate you. Thank you to my pink ladies and T-Birds. And if you are not a pink lady or T-Bird, that just means you're not part of the House of Greece because you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. I need 25 to get to 3,000. Help a bitch out. Um, you can do that by clicking Sailor Jimmy at the end or down below and also the notification bell so that you know, well, shit, when I review anything else. Or just hang out, see what the fuck I'm doing. So thank you all so much for watching. The last thing I'm going to say is I need to clarify. It's not that the topics that were dealt with in season two are not important. That's not what I'm saying. They need to be addressed. They do. What I'm saying is, as the format, the way the show is set up, they really need to have a main focus on one topic, and that main focus this season should have been rape. Um, is it a coincidence that it happened with everything that's going on in, in the time of the Me Too movement? Possibly, but this was set up last season as far as rape being the thing and not being believed was the thing to push in over the edge. Um, we know that Jessica got raped. We found out more people were doing it. So they were headed in the right direction, and just somewhere they lost their way. They couldn't figure out how to write the Polaroids into it or the rape into the storyline. But all of this is very, very important. Um, I hope we don't have the same thing where they were saying 13 reasons why I was not good to talk about as far as suicide. Hopefully we don't have the same thing with rape. But I'm going to watch some other reviews after this to see if I'm the only one that feels this way. So once again, thank you so much. Keep it greasy. Kisses. Kamehameha attack is blazing, I'm so amazing Japanimation, the anime on your cartoon station So fulfilling, no adults swimming for about an hour Revealing power, unorthodox amongst these cowards Full transformation for Optimus Prime Transformation, a good vibration from